show can be a little gay but if you're not that's okay you can listen and have fun either way Xena Star Wars Doctor Who guests and music and reviews Game of Thrones why Nona too promise there's something for you she nerds out we're girls that like girls that like dirty things Hello and welcome to the She Nerds Out bonus podcast. I'm Kat. I'm Wendy. And I'm Tara. Guys, it's our bonus mail sack episode right before the holidays. A little extra snop in your face, in your ears. <laughs> Coming right in your face. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is that too much? Okay. Whoa. Sorry. Did I take it too far? <laughs> It sounded uh, right in my head, but I guess for me to say it sounded a little strong when when it when it exited. <laughs> wow, Tara, you are in rare form tonight. Maybe Sorry. that's it. It's 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 like after dark, right? Is this officially? Not that's after right. Dark? It's after dark. <laughs> that explains it. Right. I'm uh, excited about this cap rail <laughs> banner giveaway too. <laughs> Aren't we all? Aren't we all? Okay. <laughs> Uh, should we just jump into this very large bursting sack? Let's Please. do. <laughs> so much. Our mail overfloweth. It does. Uh, our first uh, piece of mail up from Alex. Hello, Alex. He says, hello, my favorite nerds. First and foremost, congratulations on a fantastic and well done interview with Christina. Some people should learn from you and take a few pointers on how to have a successful chat. On a more embarrassing note, Tara, I am so sorry about the ketchup chips. If your dislike <laughs> of ketchup is public knowledge, I suck for not being on the ball. My American friends really enjoy them, so I thought it would be a nice treat. And then to make it even worse, I forgot about the Kit Kats, <laughs> as I heard the uh-ohs during the unboxing. I remember you mentioning something about them during Halloween. Goes to show you the lack of short-term memory I have. How can I ever redeem myself? Wendy, I'm curious to know if you like the ketchup chips. And all kidding aside, I hope you all enjoy a little piece of Canadian treats. Hmm. See you all very soon, Alex. I have not tried them yet. I, I have them in my bag. Oh, good. I realized I went to, uh, Mom and I went to Tara's, was that yesterday? Yesterday. And I realized I left like three bags of things at her house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> was there. And we, when we... I, I left the pod party and I was so tired and out of it, I I left half my things and in, including sure. ketchup chips. And yeah. so I have not opened them yet. Cause I also have a giant bag from our dear friend, Noe, who gives us a plethora of <laughs> chips yeah. all the time. And um, so I have not tried the ketchup chips, but I will. I can't wait to see what you say, Wendy. Cause I love. Well, you want to try one right now? Yeah. Let's, let's do this. Yeah. We saw Alex this weekend. Very, very fun. That's yeah. right. This is, I think, she, yeah, she did. She sent this before the party. Yeah, it's very um, confusing, all the, the timing. So, yeah, I've got yes. my bag of stuff. And I actually wore my socks uh, to bed last night, my Canadian socks. Very they're, warm, very, very cozy. Warm. And they, they're treaded, so, like, you can, yeah. you know, they won't slip. There's no right. slippage. Yeah, it's it's very, very high-quality mm -hmm. Canadian socks. Good Canadian yeah. socks. Mm -hmm. I feel like the... They're very potent just when you open the bag. Well, that's how that's really kind of makes me nauseated just you saying that. Don't don't look, Tara. Don't look. look There's a lot of on. ketchup smell. Oh, geez. <laughs> that's disgusting. It is so good. Oh. Wendy, Wendy, I think you're going to like them. The smell of ketchup is what <laughs> nauseates me the most. So that's just extra, extra. Wendy I looks like know. she's really enjoying it. Oh, those. she looks nauseated. <laughs> that's saying something. Because I like chips. She went for another one. She went and for you like ketchup, so you look <laughs> like you're about to barf. Are you going to barf? I mean, they're not the worst thing I've ever had, but it's an interesting flavor mix. Mm, I love mm. them. I love ketchup, and I love chips, but not, not ketchup chips. Like, I like green beans, and I like candy corn. <laughs> I don't need my candy corn to taste like a green bean. She mm. brought me two big bags, so... I'm I'm very excited about them. So. Pat, I got a little bag for you. <laughs> wow. I'll, I'll well, take them. Yeah. I don't know. Well, that's interesting. I <laughs> definitely won't be trying them. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, thanks okay. anyway, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> don't All make right. her feel bad. Like, you know. I'm not trying to make her feel oh, bad. I'm just okay. like, it, the fact that reaction from Wendy <laughs> even more solidifies that. No, oh, thanks. Okay. I've got one. I'm a Great. new emailer, Megan, <laughs> is popping my email cherry. Wow. Yeah. Dear Snop, 
I have been listening from England for a few months now, drawn in by your Winona Earp recaps. And although I have never seen a single Star Wars or an episode of Xena or quite a few other things you talk about, I still somehow enjoy listening to your dis- to you guys discuss them. <laughs> I actually want to thank you because I think your coverage of Andor slash Mandalorian slash Boba Fett, etc., <laughs> is actually helping give me something more to talk to uh, to the Star Wars obsessed teens in my life uh, other than, oh yes, I know the actress who plays that club owner lady with the horns, headdress from something, uh, never mind what. Uh, <laughs> man, good. I have enjoyed listening to the mail sack episodes and stories about the pod pub. Obviously the phrase, we're getting in the truck, always elicits a small, <laughs> small squeal of excitement from me in, in my car. I usually listen to you as I drive the hour to my nearest climbing gym every week. Oh. Uh, I felt very called out when Winona climbed that cliff in season three and then said, what lunatics do this for fun? But second best uh, is when Tara has a Grey's Anatomy <laughs> update as it's one of the few other times I actually know what's going on. I feel like I'm in the minority for that. But Tara, we do exist and we're with you. Oh. All right. Oh, a few things I feel I need to chime in on. Hmm. One, I have never tried candy corn, but I would like to. Don't do it, Megan. Another England English person. Pass. Pass. Right. Two, I find it very difficult to tell Wendy and Tara apart unless someone is talking about Calamity Jane or Grays. Mm. <laughs> Which is right. always going to be Tara. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to talk Calamity assumption. Jane. <laughs> Three. Well, Wendy's usually talking about like cats more in general. Yes. I'm usually talking more about Calamity Jane, and this is Tara, of course. Three. They're roundabouts and never traffic circles. Fair enough. Four. It's the correct side of the road. <laughs> Don't know about that. Five. I also have sheep outside my house oh. and otters in the <gasps> river, which runs right by it. Is that true? The lambs otters? don't usually graze here as it's a public footpath and they're huh. usually in a nearby field instead. Uh, and we are not short on deer, owls, bats, etc. Pictures hmm. attached since I know you like that kind of thing. And a cat <laughs> tax for your time reading this. Now that I know, now that you know a bit about me, I have a few questions for you. Oh. One. Will you be watching the new Wednesday show? I have never really watched any previous iterations of The Addams Family, but I have just finished it and really enjoyed it. Given how it reminded me of a slightly gorier Hocus Pocus, a film I only discovered last year, and the sarcasm and general spookiness, I thought you might enjoy it also. Although not strictly queer, there are some lesbian mums. <laughs> there are some lesbian Yeah. Uh, my biggest love and the show that opened the door uh, to the nerdy wonderland of genre TV fandoms and queer community around it is Buffy. Nice. I would lose my mind with excitement to hear you guys talk more about it sometime. Hmm. I have quite finished the back. Oh, I, I haven't quite finished the backlog, uh, back catalog yet, but I have heard you briefly mention Angel when interviewing Amy Acker. And I think a couple of other brief mentions in other episodes. Are any of you fans? Have any of you not seen it yet? Watching Winona, the Buffy influences were very clear, and I love spotting all the parallels. From what I hear from people who have watched both, the same is true in reverse regarding Buffy and Xena. If you have seen it, did you notice the parallels slash influences in Buffy that could have come from Xena? I haven't found a way to stream Xena yet, but would really be really interested to hear about any you've noticed so far. I know Joss Whedon is a piece of shit but for me this show is an example of separating the art from the artist and acknowledging its faults while still being able to take meaning from the story and make it your own i would just love to hear more about your guys' thoughts such experiences of the show if you have uh, any if any of you feel like talking about it at some point thank you for your time reading this and making the podcast and i look forward to the next episode meg thank you meg that was very lovely yeah that's great to hear um, from you meg yeah, so to answer your questions, first of all, it was very nice getting to know you. Thank you so much for emailing. It's very nice to know I have another Grey's Anatomy fan out there, first of all. At least one. Um, at least one. <laughs> a few, few of us out there. Um, so to answer your questions, I have watched the entirety of the of Wednesday on Netflix, begrudgingly because I hate Netflix right now because it canceled Warrior Nun, my favorite show. So um, it was it, – it hurt – and let me tell you, I watched it before they canceled Warrior Nun. So, mm. you're, um, clean. you're clean. Yes, I'm clean. <laughs> My hands are clean. <laughs> um, 
but I really enjoyed it. It was, uh, it, you're right. Spooky is, is a good word because I don't like scary. I don't like, uh, it, it is gory, but it's not like, uh, gross or anything. It's, it's fun. Uh, I like the humor. You said you didn't watch, haven't watched any previous iterations of Adam's family. Uh, my favorite iteration is the, is Christina Ricci as Wednesday Adams because sure. I just love her in general, but I love, uh, Adam's family too is my favorite, uh, of, of all of them. Um, and this, you know, and Christina Ricci is in this, of course. Um, but it's just not the same. She's not playing Wednesday, but I, I really loved it. I loved the show. I thought it was, I, um, I thought it was great. Is it Jenny Ortega? I think. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, she was, she was great. Um, yeah. I, I just like the aesthetic of it a lot. I like the vibe. Um, yeah. it definitely was not gay. And there was a lot of kind of, a lot of, um, issues with it because netflix ugh, come on netflix they put on a big a drag event and they oh. they they advertised one of their big advertising because you know they put advertising dollars into wednesday was called when's gay oh. and they put they all over you could see this and so it was a drag event um so drag drag queens dressed as adam's family characters and so all over the internet was this when's and they had crossed out day and put gay. Okay. So they're almost advertising as like queer mm-hmm. theme or queer. Mm-hmm. And so everyone was like, all oh, right, this is before the show came out. It was like, Oh, there's going to be kind of like something gay. And there's Wednesday gay. It's a gay thing, you know? And so like when it came out and people were really, really, really upset, like there's nothing like there's not, <laughs> where's the gay. Of course there's shipping between Wednesday and a friend. But to me, I did not, I was not picking up on that vibe. It didn't, not for me. Um, I, it just wasn't there. I love their friendship. I love that relationship. But for me, I was not picking up on that vibe. Um, to me, like Wednesday is actually asexual. I didn't actually even pick up on her vibes with these guys. They're trying to set her up with. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, anyway, I, I I really liked the show, but they, (laughs) they got, they pulled all of that. They pulled a lot of that, that <laughs> drag, <laughs> like sure. they pulled a lot of that advertising back because um, that did not go over well once Got that it. came out. Got so, uh, but I did. I really like the show. It's very campy, of course. It's funny, um, but uh, yeah, I think I think it, it kind of was a little bit. Um, it was overhyped for me at mm. the point I watched it because mm-hmm. they were. It had been hyped up so much. Like this was like Wednesday was like the second coming of Lorelai Gilmore, you know, like the right. dialogue is so fast and snappy and like, blah, blah, blah. And it was, but like, it wasn't like that level for me. Yeah. Like, you know, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. And mm-hmm. I look forward to another season, which I'm sure it will get. I'm sure it will. Um, yeah. So yeah, I, I like it. I, um, well, I watched the first no. half of the first episode because uh, I, fell, <laughs> I fell asleep. But what I watched, oh. I did like. And I was oh, tired. Okay. It has nothing to do with the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I, I, I'll get back in. I'll, I'll get back into it. Yeah. There was literally like not even. And I think that, that has drawn some criticism because for a show that's literally about a school of like misfits, mm. <laughs> there was like not even one like queer yeah. outward queer character like like That's one weird. of the werewolves like wasn't even like hey i'm i'm gay or queer <laughs> right <laughs> like, it would have been know, really like, easy to make yeah, it would have been really easy character yeah right so oh. Oh. you know um it just didn't happen that way mm-hmm. uh but yeah and as far as question number two about buffy we've talked about, about buffy on the yeah, show before we have i'm a huge Maybe. fan of buffy yeah uh I've me too i've only seen a handful I watched sixty three percent of Angel though. <laughs> Is that the percent that Amy's on? <laughs> so yeah. specific. I did mm. the math. Mm. <laughs> mm. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, but I feel like we could do some some more. I'd love Buffy. to. Let's I would love to do. do have we ever done like an in depth of the musical episode? No, because... we've we've never done an in depth of any episode of Buffy. Ooh, we I think that would, that. I think that would be fun. I think that would be really fun. fun. Yeah, yeah, we should we should absolutely start doing that. Yeah. Good idea, no. Meg. Thanks for yeah. that, that idea there. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. We, 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 
We've underserved Buffy. Because sure. you make me come pleat is one of wow. the best lyrics. <laughs> Oh, is that the, the, the Willow and it's Tara? The Willow yeah. Tara song. Come That's on. It's a great song. It's a great song. <laughs> Tara's in a mood. <laughs> it's uh, a song cat. cat. I'm, uh huh. I'm going to read an email. It's from AK. Okay. Oh, yes. All right. Uh, one of a couple that we got this, this uh, we, you know, we, we're doing some catching up. We're a little behind on the mm-hmm. mail sack. So this is from a couple weeks ago. AK says, dudes, 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 that was so cool. Fab interview, well done. This is, you totally managed to keep your cool and not actually implode. Mm. Bravo. Christina seemed like a total sweetheart. Hurrah. Good shit. And welcome, new listeners who came for the Warrior Nun content, but have stayed just because our snoplings are awesome. Good work all around. Cracking, AK. Mm. Wow. This Thanks, AK. Course. Yeah, this is, of course, for our... Christina Tontaire Young, yeah. Christina Tontaire Young, who was on the pod a few weeks ago. Yep, you know, good friend of the pod. Yeah, Warrior Nun, heard of it, watch it, if you haven't watched it yet. We got canceled, canceled. but we're going to save it. (laughs) That's right. Sign the petition. It'll be back. Save Warrior Nun. All right, I have an email now from Tracy. Hmm. Snop shop. I'm finally come up. Oh, my gosh. Well, first, let me give you the subject. Perfectly splendid interview. <laughs> Nop shop. I'm finally caught up on all of your episodes, minus the and or ones, because I still need to watch the show. Mm. I loved your interview with Christina. I listened and watched it a few times. She is so damn beautiful. I'd catch myself Ava gazing at her and realize I didn't hear the last <laughs> minutes of, five minutes of the interview. Hence the multiple watches. I also love Tara and Kat's review of season two. It hit on most of my favorite Avatrice, is that how you say it, Tara? Avatrice? Avatrice. Avatrice. Oh, are you muted? You're muted. Is Tara gone? Tara's <laughs> muted. <laughs> oh, I muted because Charlie was barking. Avatrice. <laughs> Avatrice. I don't want to mess it up. I know it's a big thing. Avatrice moments. I obviously love the you're jealous um, moment. It felt like Ava said that without thinking, then realized she got a little too close for B's comfort and backtracked a bit. There were so many protective, it's B, right? Like, because it's Beatrice, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. it's B. Okay. Mm-hmm. There were so many protective B moments that I loved, too. The moment before she goes down the elevator and takes down another hallway of dudes. Mm-hmm. That's the moment where I feel <laughs> like she really realized her vows and realized she would kill for Ava. Nice. The first season hallway fight, all the guys lived after. I don't think she was taking any prisoners on a season two hallway fight. They were keeping her from Ava. Nice. Another one of my favorite moments was where B totally acts the top after the fight in front of Michelle <laughs> exposes her halo. B drags her off by the arm and say, and goes, "Say goodbye, Ava." And <laughs> yeah. Ava is totally so just, just say goodbye, Ava. <laughs> <laughs> like bye, Ava, and Ava is totally just happily being pulled along and says bye in her peppy, adorable way. Cute. Although I agree with the Twitter user below who said B tops in the street, but Ava totally <laughs> tops in the sheets. That's a T-shirt. Put on a T-shirt. <laughs> I think the kiss scene proves that point. Or would that make them both switches? Mm-hmm. Oh, they're flip flops. Have you oh, heard? Flip flops. Yep. Yeah, Hashtag flip flops. Uh, last few notes on season two. Could you just imagine Ava getting swimming lessons from B? Why did they keep that from us? <laughs> <laughs> that was the first point. Number two, there was only one bet. Nothing more be said. Number three, <laughs> Camilla and Mother Superior bromance? Yes, please. Nice. M4, B had a secretive smile in the credit scene. She was totally going back to her new home to cuddle with Ava, who she's been hiding away after she came back like 30 minutes after she went through the portal. <laughs> mm-hmm. They're total wives, and I am here for it. Mm. Uh, if you want some more Avatrice, the Twitter account, Incorrect Warrior Nun. Oh, thank at, you. That's what you were saying. Incorrect TW. Oh, wait. Incorrect WN. Had yep. me in stitches. And of course, uh, <laughs> someone has taken those ideas and made them into fan fiction, as we do. Nice. AO3, Avatrice by Stella Aquavist, Aquavist mm. 21. Yeah. Okay. Probably yes, I, oh. I mentioned the uh, incorrect Warrior Nun on the you did. last, on Tuesday's episode. You it is. It's, they're, it's hilarious. So good. Uh, yes. Tracy says, sorry, this email is so long. I had a lot of feelings to share. <laughs> I could talk about this show for hours, to be honest. Hmm. I know someone else like that. <laughs> Tracy. P.S. Have you watched the free YouTube web series, Stupid Wife? If not, you should. The women in it are so fucking hot. <laughs> mom. <laughs> mom check. <laughs> mom check. And, mom check. And this, I know it's like, you know, it's not, everybody oh, says that word, but hey. still, it's my mom. She's 89. Listen. 
He has tiny, sensitive ears. And the story is pretty good, too. New Christmas episodes are coming out now. PPS. I have called, I've been called a recluse. I prefer to think of myself <laughs> as a private party of one. However, if you hold a gathering for snop tarts, mm. I will leave my hidey hole and make the trip. Even Aww. if only to stand awkwardly in the corner along my fellow women-loving women nerds. Maybe I'll find the Ava to my Beatrice in another snop tart. Mm. And by the way, there's a lot of, like, I guess these memes from Ava Tris, like, with the single bed and, and <laughs> memes of... Oh, yeah, there's some art. Yeah, now. Nice. Some art. Some really great comic. art. Looks, looks like comic. Yes. Very cool. Very cool. I bet, Tara, you, you're on all that, aren't you? Oh, Have yeah. Have you gone on the Tumblr? Is it hot on the Tumblr? Oh, yeah. It's on the Tumblr. It's <laughs> on, It's everywhere. I love it. <laughs> Definitely been on AO3. That's oh, for I'm, sure. I know you have. Lots of fun to be had there. Anywho, <laughs> I was looking back at Meg's email and they said there are attachments, but I don't see any. Oh, hold on. Was there? Are you withholding those from us? Oh, Kat? yeah. Probably. Oh, look at this. Mm. I am. <laughs> wow. I'm a bad person. Um, no, well, I think we all know I won that word. No, well, I'll stop. read Beck's while you send all those. Right. All right, they're coming at you. Okay. All right, I got one from Beck. Beck says, Merry Christmas, nerds. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Beck. Christmas, Beck. Beck. Oh, we, oh that was, we were kind of on the right page there. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Strap in and cucumber up, everyone. <laughs> There's a lot here, so get comfy. Ooh, I got the long ones this week. Mm. Uh, uh. So she's going to get drink some water. That's right. <laughs> so last week, you guys were pandering a lot to these so-called <laughs> two new listeners. I don't seem to recall any such fanfare when I started listening. Rude. And I'm excluded from winning a Caparel banner. Double rude. Like I sort of, Lucky, I sort of like you guys. I can't believe you guys suggested that the reason I hadn't watched Warrior Nun was because I was worried about curse words around the kids. Did you guys black out and forget who my kids are? <laughs> it's only because everything I suggest just automatically gets shut down. What would mom know? Wendy did did remind me of something when she was mentioned, mentioned no sex scenes, though. I don't think I've told you this, guys, this story, but apologies if I had. Mm. Back in pre-Waverly times when Oscar was little... And when I was married, like Kat is to Leah, who's her wife, oh boy, we were watching something on TV that he was really, wasn't really paying attention to. Then a sex scene came on. Mm. It was one of those ones where it's just heads poking out of a blanket. Oscar stared at it for a second and then asked, what are they doing? We panicked and said, it's just sexy time. Don't worry about it. Up until this point, I feel like my parenting track record track record had been so good it was just all downhill from here after that day for ages every time he wanted to snuggle up on the couch Aww. oh no with his little blanket he'd mm -hmm. ask if he wanted if we wanted to have sexy time with him that's adorable oh no oh. it was so funny i was so worried he was gonna say it to someone outside of our house thankfully that never happened i was also once made the mistake of describing my collectibles and figurines and stuff as grown up toys oh, so that he no. that he couldn't play with. <laughs> oh boy. So when his cousins were at the house and went to go into our spare bedroom where I keep <laughs> where I keep them all out of reach, mm. he'd stop them and say, You can't go in there. That's where mom keeps all of her grown up toys. Oh, oh no. no. Kids, man. <laughs> Kids, Sticking with man. the kids me, the kids theme, you'll notice I've attached a picture of Wave. Mm -hmm. Our town had its Christmas parade on this weekend, <laughs> and they had people running around taking photos of everything as they do. This gem popped up on the council's <laughs> website. I zoomed in on her so you can really appreciate it. And also so you can't see me sitting next to her. Aww. It was not a flattering photo. <laughs> Look at her. She's sitting in the gutter, flashing everyone and looks so unimpressed. So cute. Good gay spread, though. That Giving you a, a run part. for your money, Tara. Mm. So I listened to an awesome podcast called Do Go On, which I highly recommend to everyone. It's so good. It's three Aussie comedians who take turns doing reports each week on interesting topics. Everyone listen to it. Anyway, they 
had their Christmas episode this week, and it was about the Star Wars holiday special. Have you guys seen it? <gasps> oh, yes, we have. I think you we did an yeah. episode on it. Yeah. Rude. Yeah. Have you listened to our podcast? <laughs> you I've never seen it. But as soon as the podcast podcast ended, I quickly got YouTube up to watch it. Mm-hmm. All I can say is, wow. Mm-hmm. I feel like there was a big shift in my life. <laughs> There's before the holiday special Beck and after holiday special Beck. Remember just last week when I said I'm easily pleased as long as it's an interest of mine and it'd have to work really hard for me to hate it. But let's just say this masterpiece worked really hard. First 10 minutes are Wookiees communicating a Wookiee talk without (laughs) subtitles or anything. It's just 10 minutes of noise and there's no context clues to go on. (laughs) On the podcast, they read a review that said, was written by a sentient bag of cocaine. (laughs) Which may be the best sentence I've ever heard. Oh, man. And then they read a quote from Mickey Herman, who was a consultant on it. Get ready for this episode. Get ready for this absolute (laughs) gem. The interesting thing is the day after the special aired was the day of the Jonestown Massacre. No. It was just a bad time for everyone. Oh, God. (laughs) Yeah. That's that's having to watch this special. (laughs) Oh, no. That's good stuff. That is a bad time for everyone. Boy, can you imagine saying something like that? (laughs) No. Finally, I know no one asked me, but I'm going to tell you anyway. My go-to Christmas movies each year are Mickey's Christmas Carol and Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. I've watched them every Christmas for as long as I can remember. I love them so much, especially Tiny Tim. He's super cute. We watched the new Scrooge on Netflix the other night, and that was really good, too, actually. He didn't dive mom into a pool of coins, though, which was a little disappointing. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. Back. (laughs) P.S. I hope you all have a great Christmas. I'm sure Santa will come and spoil you. Just like you deserve. Oh, that's nice. I'm just now looking at this picture <laughs> it's, here. It's oh, pretty. oh, it's beautiful. She's that's fantastic. So <laughs> cute. Yeah. I uh, see a lot of attitude. Lovely. I love it. Yeah. yeah. I wonder where she gets it. <laughs> On the council's website. I bet there's got to be a picture of you out there like that somewhere, Tara. Yeah. I oh, could yeah, see that being sure. a picture of you. <laughs> yeah. Um, my mom would be like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, and yeah, we 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 did talk about the Star Wars holiday special at length. I feel like so mm-hmm. it's a mess, maybe but... maybe we'll rerun that as a as a oh, holiday yeah. on because this, look, this break. B. Arthur in the Cantina is classic Star Wars. Classic. And I stand by that. Yeah, I feel like and, we did a whole episode uh, on we, it. I, I think feel. we did a big I think we chunk. Did. Yeah. yeah, I think we did. I mean, it's. There's so, a lot of so horrible much. things in that. <laughs> but you get bonus Han, Luke, and Leia footage and Chewie. Yes. Yeah. The Arthur. After that, I mean, there's some weird, like, when they're part with, like, the little Wookiee kids watching <laughs> porn-looking dancing. Yeah, like, it's yeah, like, so an extended weird yes, dance scene. There's a lot of weird extended yeah, like, lump, grand- musical scenes. It was Grandpa Lumpy. He was, like, in some sort oh, of sex, that's right, Grandpa sex Lumpy. chair. Yes. Oh, those are good times. Um, so There's yeah, a go, reason go they check, don't want that watch. Go, <laughs> go check that out. Uh, did you guys get those those oh pictures from Meg? There we go. Very cute That's cat. Very good cat tax photos. <gasps> Aww, oh, and a sheep. Kitty. Oh, That's adorable. And yeah, oh, look, look at little that beans. view. Look at those cat beans there. On oh, paws. look at those beans. I do love cats and those sheep. are nice beans. That's mm-hmm. beautiful. And sheep. Oh, look at that sheep. Wow. A good time. Thank you, Meg, for those. Appreciate you. Uh, guys, I have another email from AK. What up, AK? Uh, no, AK. I can tell this is this is after yeah. after um, exactly. the news. Mm. Before, yeah, we we had the before AK email and now the after. Mm-hmm. They canceled it. What the fuck is wrong with these people? Hi, gang. I guess today's episode might be a live broadcast from the demonstration outside Netflix. <laughs> As this is, chained herself to their front door and refused to stop screaming until they restore Warrior Nun. Is there to be ranting? Trademark. I feel like that was last week. Yeah. Although you didn't get too heated. You were more sad than anything I else. I think it was, I was shock more sad. and stunned. Yeah, yeah I was more enough. shocked. Why must companies tease us with great shows, then cancel them? Bah. I've added Willow to my watch list. Well done. 
guess that'll only get one season the way things are going. I'm losing faith in the media giants. I, <laughs> circling back, I can't believe they canceled it. Is there any sci-fi fantasy show with queer female leads that made it to a full extended number of seasons? I can't think of one right now. It's a good, very good question. Mm. Bummer. AK, you could tell this is a very subdued AK that we're yeah. not used to, you know? Right. They're not as many, uh, like, emojis. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, AK continues, bummer. I'm, I'm going to go play in the snow to cheer up. Mm. Signed, Sir AK. And there's some great, beautiful English countryside mm-hmm. snow photos. Oh, beautiful snow. I wish I could go play in the snow. <laughs> but I can't because it's going to be, like, in the 70s and 80s. Yeah. yeah, for Christmas and it's gross. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Everybody's so excited about it. Oh, you can wear your flip flops on Christmas. Why do you want to? <laughs> That's not good. That's so nobody should and... want to do that. Come on, yeah, it's yeah. summer at best I'm on the sorry. beach. It's Christmas. Wear your sweaters, your boots, your jackets. You don't need yeah. to wear like tank tops and flip flops. <sighs> Oh. Anyway, but I am uh, very upset. Uh, but it was more of a sad, but more of a like taking action to save. To you know, I'm just like done with Netflix, moving right, on. Right to try to save. We're moving on. There, yeah, on. yeah, exactly. Decided my energy was not best spent throwing dick pastries at Netflix headquarters. <laughs> Had to, you know, do something else. Sign the petition. Sign very the petition. Very mature. The Save Warrior Nun petition on Change.org. Nice. Very important. Yep. yep. <sighs> okay. It's my turn again. Is it? It's uh, it's no, not. it's not. Never mind. It's your turn, Wendy. <laughs> Thanks for trying to jump ahead of me. All right. I have an email from Shira. Yay, Shira. Hey. Hey. Oh, post email con mail and I'm back home. Oh. Hey, Snop. How are you today? I'm back in Israel. <laughs> it was lovely to see you in the Xena convention. I had a wonderful time at the con and the con was everything I dreamed of and more. Thanks for being a part of that experience. For years, I wanted to see Wicked Xena the Musical. Um, or Wicked the Xena Musical. Thanks. I am so glad I had the chance to see it at the con. It was great. It, Thank it you. Was and I great. still need to get, I still need to tweet out the links to the videos on our Snop Twitter, which I will do. I kind of did a, I was in a Xena Facebook group and I did a trial run and okay. I posted them there to make sure they worked. And so now that they do, I'll, I'll do the Twitter. Okay. Um, Great. And already, okay, from Shira. And already told you, I already told you I found out about the Wicked, uh, found out about Wicked the musical through your adaptations of it. That's fun. So if you wow. found out about <laughs> Wicked, from Wicked Xena musical, then you probably watched Wicked and be like, oh, this is actually really good. Wow. <laughs> wow. You've probably blown away at the real Wicked. Like, I don't by the way, know. Shit, I don't this know. sounds amazing. I don't know. I'd hey, if you liked our version, Cena. I'd, you know, it's, I guess either or. Like, if you already loved Wicked and you saw ours, you'd be probably, you know, if you love Xena, then it's fun. But if you saw ours and you're like, oh, this is interesting and the music's good, and then you saw the real musical, you're probably like, oh my gosh. Yes. By the way, did you know that the movie Wicked, they're splitting into two parts? Did we talk about that? No, we we're making about two it films. At all. And I heard the first one's going to end with Defying Gravity. What As a it should, because that's how the inner, that's, that's how, how, yeah, in, that's how the yeah. ends. Yeah. The so they're yeah. splitting it into two so they don't have to cut anything. That makes sense. So. That I'm should a, be. I'm, I'm I hope. I just that. hope it's good. I just want it to yeah. be. Uh, anyway, thanks for the recommendations for Warrior None. I gave it another chance, and it's great already. Minging it all. Nice. Um, nice. In the last snop, you asked if you should talk about the L Word Gen Q. In my opinion, if you want to, go ahead, do it. It's up to you. <laughs> Personally, I would like it regardless. So, okay. Thank, thank you, so Shira. Good. All like, right. I, Appreciate I the just feedback. Can't, I just, I mean, I get it. We should, but man, they slam Carmen. They kick Carmen out of the being involved. And Wendy's a bit like biased. It. I'm hmm. biased. Um, but and we haven't really heard much else. No one has really sent us any feedback either way. So okay, no. we'll, yeah. we'll talk. Okay. Listen, we're gonna have a big Meh. snop meeting at the beginning yeah. of the year. This will be. Mm-hmm. I'll put oh, this really? on the List of discussions. We set our agenda mm-hmm. for the year. Oh yeah, it's <gasps> it's a bit. It's gonna be. Do I have to bring might, things to the table. No, we might be going. It might be a Chili's. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, we we have to talk about that. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna record yeah. the Snoppies live this year at Chili's. For mm-hmm. real? Have you? Oh, y'all yeah. discussed like, this when I was off trying to solve it, problems. No, 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 caused, no, didn't you? no, no. It was <laughs> <laughs> that's not what. It, okay, it's actually you don't watch The Office, so you probably don't. Have oh, I don't. Okay. No. Anyway, oh, 
Okay, so Shira says there's snail mail on the way. Ooh. Yeah. <gasps> says exciting. with the snail mail, there's a page I could only I could manage to print only in black and white. So let me know when it arrives and I'll oh. send you the PDF color one. Okay. But mm. open it only with the package. It contains spoilers for what's inside the package. Got oh, it. and I... it will require you all to meet up somehow. So <gasps> we can do it at Chili's. Oh. At Chili's. Okay. Um, Perfect. Okay, for your knowledge, only after Xena retreat. I found that I I found out that I can't send you Israeli <gasps> beers yeah. like I wanted yeah. to. I know. So I am the someone who donated beers with the spelling mistake. Somehow I didn't notice until it was too late. Oh. Look, if you want to send us beers, <laughs> it's all good. You can misspell every word. We won't yeah. care. <laughs> of course. Well, thank uh, you happy, for trying. Yes, sure. thank you. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. thank you. Uh, happy holidays. You're not any more silent listener oh Shira. Yeah. yeah and then sent a picture <laughs> of us all of us at the xena convention yeah Aww. so well cute. it looks yeah and then nancy and courtney are with, with nancy us. and courtney Aww. in their freaking ridiculous sweaters so cute xena um, gab sweaters how and our, awesome know, is like it? Our, our very professional podcast table with one mic and a box of whoppers upside down <laughs> <laughs> we look I mean, like we're we're that's ready us. to roll. That's us. How cool is it that Shira lives in Israel and we've seen her twice I now know. in I know. this last year? That yeah. is so I just can't fathom. Cool. Like, you you go to like, I'm going to Xena Convention. Okay, I'm back in Israel. Like, to me, Israel is a place that's like, that's a it's like a, an epic trip. It's a big yeah. trip. It's not just not, like, oh, I live in Israel. I'm going to Xena Convention. I'm back yeah. in Israel. It's like, yeah, I feel like I, there's so much you'd have to go through just to like make this so far. I would love to go. I'd yeah. love to go. It's I beautiful. had a chance to go in high school, and of course, it was like an expensive trip, and I didn't go. And then all my friends got sick from like <laughs> Egypt. I got some sort of Egypt. Maybe the bathroom kind of like a, like a, mummy, a mummy curse or something. <laughs> something. They, they got some illness going on. Uh -oh. um, but it would have been. Cool. I would have. It's still beautiful. Have to go yes. you go. you'll love it, Wendy. You'll love it. It's beautiful. All right, now it's my turn. Okay. Okay, I have Tracy Part Two. Okay. Oh, all right. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait. Nope. Nope. Not on the right one. Uh-oh. Nope. I'm lost. <laughs> Help. <laughs> I'm drowning. Help me. It's a bunch of emojis is the subject. A bunch of emojis? Do you want me to send it again? Did I not send it? No, I did send it. I got one. Wait. Do you want me to forward it to you right now? Uh, Just so it's... From Tracy Part 2. I got that. Bumping it up into your... Uh, Sorry. Sorry. There's just, it's a crying emoji, it's a cursing emoji. And then it's oh, a... I have a feeling I know what it's about then. <laughs> I can't imagine. Oh, man. I just sent it, so it should okay. pop up soon. All right. Oh, oh, I see it. I see it. That's a cur <laughs> Yes, there. Okay. All right. Here we go. Hey, Snop Shop. Mm -hmm. I've been in mourning since the news about Warrior Nun. This was after the denial and rage wore itself out. <laughs> I sent an angry tweet to Netflix and then canceled my subscription, providing the reason as them canceling Warrior Nun. Wow. Everything beforehand seemed to be positive and people were saying it would definitely be renewed. Then it gets canceled. And suddenly I see things like, oh, it only hit number five on some Netflix list or, oh, it was only popular for three weeks. Is three weeks a short amount of time? Anyway. <laughs> Deep breaths. Oh, by the way, it got canceled after only three weeks. So how many fucking weeks did they want it to be? This is me, by the way. This is. I'm glad you're reading this. This is perfect, actually. Okay. KTY is truly a gem. <laughs> she has done so many podcasts, slash interviews, etc. Just getting the show as much publicity as possible. Mm -hmm. Way more than anyone else on the cast. Mm -hmm. If I wasn't already, I'd definitely be a fan for life after mm -hmm. hearing she dropped in on the Twitter space after the cancellation, especially after watching her read Warrior <laughs> Nun Thirst Trap tweets. That was priceless. Now that I'm cutting Netflix from my life for the foreseeable future, I can uh, finally get into Andor and finish the shows I skipped. Looking forward to it, Tracy. Mm. Tracy, I completely agree. Um, they canceled it barely a month after it came out. It was still in all the top lists it just uh, forbes at uh, new york times just the, like two days ago put out an article how it's the number four best netflix show they just the new york freaking times just rated it the number four so show bizarre. on netflix right now <laughs> so bizarre 
Um, so yeah, so I think it was uh, reasons unrelated to quality or popularity. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. Probably a budget issue. Maybe. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's pretty infuriating. Uh, I'm also will be canceling my Netflix account. Okay. Breaking news. Dang it! I use yours, which <laughs> I don't look. Well, that's why I asked you, and I asked oh, my best you. friend Christy. I said, "Do you still <clears throat> use my Netflix account?" And she said, "No, she's been using your sister's." So, do you? What do you watch on it, Wendy? Honestly, the only things I watch on there, I I never finished Sex Life. <laughs> Because it was oh come on fair enough I know I'm, canc- well, I'm canceling it. look I'm canceling it in protest no Maybe I don't but back. I support you I support you the only I'm other canceling thing it so I, I can do the exact same I thing regularly and put, fuck you right canceled word none I will occasionally watch on there those parts of the OA but they well, screwed that I'm show canceling too. it I'm, I know I'm not. I'm not saying don't cancel it you should get rid of it because I hate I hate the Netflix too because they screwed over the OA yeah. So, I don't watch I'm, it. The I'm only on thing board. I was watching was Warrior Nun and then Wednesday, and I already watched Wednesday. So I don't there need. you go. I'm I'm good. I don't done. I, I'm fine with not finishing Sex Life. It was hard. To get oh, are you? Long. It's that was like a year ago. I know, and I can't get myself to go back. I, okay. you know, I love you, Sarah Shahi, but point? I can't do the Sex Life. Why yeah, bother? I don't blame you. Yeah. And, and listen, speaking of Andor, yeah, we're gonna when we come back in the new year, we will we will be. F- uh, talking about Andor some more, wrapping up that season, and we um, there's plenty to talk about. Like we're so behind on that, so don't worry. Andor and uh, Andor talk is coming in the new year, in the new snoppy year. Nice. Yeah. Hey guys, yeah. I have an e- no, I don't have an email. You know what I have? I got some beer. beers. Nice. I got, beers. I got some beers. Our good friend Nancy sent us nine beers. All right. Nancy says, we are so thankful for y'all. Happy, uh, Hope the holidays are exactly what you need them to be. That's a, you know, that's a perfect way of saying that. Yeah. We're looking forward to a snoppy new year. Aw. Nancy, thank you so much for the beers. We appreciate you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sending us some love. Uh, and we hope that the holidays are exactly what you need them to be. Mm-hmm. So thank you, Nancy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I hope they're... What we need them to be. Yeah, me too. Well, uh, I've got a little something. Yeah, there's something on the rundown here that I didn't add, and it's just it says terrible. I don't surprise. know what that is either. I got What's some happening? snail mail. Oh, from Sue's in, burr, 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 in burr. England. Okay, it's a box. Okay, I love a box. It's a dick in a box. <laughs> uh, no, no, I hope not. not. <laughs> you can keep that at your place, Tara. <laughs> uh, oh, look at this. Okay. Oh, it's a letter. It says Ladies of Snop. Oh, that's us. Oh, my God. The gosh. Ladies of Snop. Wow. Okay. Mm. All right. There's like this. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> um, and then there's this. Let, let me take a look here. Oh. oh, that's cute. Okay, so this is a card. Is there money oh, in there? this is so cute. Um, it's a ERP. It's a Happy Holidays ERP mm. card. Oh, it's the homestead. That's cute. Yeah, it's the homestead nice. with the sign Aww. on it, with the everyone welcome sign. How cute I, is that? I love that. Happy ERP. Everyone smile. I like that card. Okay, we'll take it. <laughs> okay, uh, that's so cute. Oh, it says happy sweet. ladies of Snop, happy holidays. Love Sue's, Minnie, and Shelby. Oh, very nice. Thanks, guys. Okay, so there's a letter in here. All right. It says, hey, guys, we did hope to get this package to you before Tara's Christmas party, but alas, mm. it was not meant to be. The UK is currently experiencing mass strikes, including Royal Mail, which oh. I fully support, but I am in no way organized enough to work around. <laughs> so instead, I am trusting Tara to distribute the goods, the goodies fairly. Okay. Well, Suze, that was your first mistake. Tara. All right. To thank Tara for her awesome package, excluding the tailgate <laughs> candy corn. My bad. We have sent you an assortment of classic British sweets Ooh. in the white box. Yes. And some specifically from York. Ooh, fun. Okay. Up until a few years ago, uh, I'm being loose with the time frame here. York was home to the Nestle uh, Terry's and Round Trees factories. No so kidding. to celebrate this, I have sent you something from each. I'm sorry, Terry, but since the Kit Kat is the last chocolate bar to be produced in New York, 
uh, we had to send some. Yay. <laughs> we went with the smaller ones because in our opinion, two fingers are always better than four. <laughs> okay. It's a preference. <laughs> it's uh, a preference. <laughs> I mean, you can't, you can never go wrong with two. Personal preference. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's getting spicy tonight. If you have never had a Terry's chocolate orange before, then there are certain things you need to do slash know. <laughs> It must be refrigerated so that it is good and solid before you can bang it against a hard surface. Oh, my goodness. If not, you will find it hard to separate the segments. By the way, there was a smiley face next to that comment about the two That's, fingers versus four. I'm um, sure there was. Only well, emoji on this entire letter. <laughs> well done, Suze. Well done. Uh, we've sent some jelly babies because they're... Great. And I've oh. heard a rumor you guys don't have them over there. No. And the Tesco fudge. All right. Because honestly, we thought the candy corn tasted just like it. Interesting. Okay. Oh. Huh. We've also sent you the quintessential British drink, English tea, and more specifically, the daddy of them all, Yorkshire tea. Uh -huh. I have included step-by-step -step instructions of how to make a proper cuppa and <laughs> and you each have a mug <gasps> with a handy guide of what color the tea Aww. should be if brewed correctly. Fizz. Finally, at this junction, I would like to pronounce myself as another northern knight of Snapalot. Yes. Nice. My choice of weapon shall be my words of persuasion, as <laughs> oh. generally. <laughs> All right. I like to think of myself as more of a lover than a fighter. Fantastic. May I also introduce to my liege lords my faithful squire, Minnie, <laughs> who has sourced <laughs> gifts fitting to your lordly titles. Aww. Please open the A4 envelope in the box <laughs> of the top uh, of the box before continuing to read. Okay. <laughs> was that what I accidentally opened already? Maybe, yeah. I mean, it was just, it, it, was oh. there an, oh, something else? As you can, please open the A4 envelope in the, in the bottom of the box. Oh. Okay, I have to see, because it's the next part's really weird. I have no idea. Wow. Oh, I heard a wow. This is fun. How big is this box? Oh, okay. To our liege lords from your faithful squire, Minnie. <laughs> liege lords. I mean, it's got a ring to it. What? I don't, I don't hate it. What is it? Look <gasps> at this. We have seals. We, we have like crests. Seals and crests. What? Wow. Is it like our last names? Yes. <gasps> Which one's oh mine? God. Primans. Woody. Oh, Woody. How like cool with a tree. Is that? That's so cute. <laughs> and Chadwick. And it has nice. the surnames. Oh my gosh. You guys. How I'm framing cool. that. I am too. That's really cool. It says, as you can see, you all hail from these great British Isles. In it's fact, cool. it turns out that Cat and Minnie both originate from the same place in Ireland. <gasps> and since Minnie has already noted that Cat has a striking resemblance to her brother, who knows? Maybe you're distantly related. <gasps> Tara, on the Cousin. other hand, <laughs> in years gone by, our families would have been sworn enemies. Oh, with your no. family name originating from Lancaster and Minnie and I oh, having no. Yorkshire blood in our veins, we would have been on opposite sides during the War of oh, the Roses, a civil oh, war in the 15th century between so House Lancaster and House York. Fun fact, J.R.R. Martin is rumored to have used this period as of time as inspiration for Game of Thrones. Holy wow. Wendy, you and I, this is Suze, by the way, mm -hmm. have similar stories around our last names. Woody, someone who lived near a wood, uh, as <laughs> my last sense. name is Bush, someone <gasps> who lived near a bush. Oh. I mean, well, you like can't neighbors. really get more simplistic <laughs> for an origin <laughs> of a surname than that, can you? I'm really okay. sorry this letter has ended up being much longer than I intended. But finally, Minnie and I would like to wish you all a happy holidays, Aww. however you celebrate and keep nerding out. Sue's Minnie and Shelby. That is so sweet. Thank oh, you, Minnie. Oh, so cool. Shelby. And there's so much great That's stuff awesome. in here. There's stuff for and Charlie. Suze. There's Aww. all sorts of fun candies and mugs. <laughs> I look through everything in here. 
Can I see? I mean, do you, have you seen a picture of? Is it Minnie's brother that I look like, or Suze's brother? I haven't. It says Minnie's brother. I, I haven't. Okay. I don't think I've seen a picture. I have, and I have, have not heard show. this yet. I feel like yeah. this has not come out. We got to see a picture side by side. Yeah, yeah. So send us a pic. Amazing. So they're very d- curious. Is there? Are we? Do we get coffee cups? I think. Did Suze yeah, mention yeah, that we get co- don't. Um, I mean, sorry, tea cups. They're tea. Yeah, they're tea. Don't cups. try to so, don't try to look keep at stuff this. from us, Tara. There's <laughs> there's only one in here, guys. I think it's supposed to be for me. Uh, no, look, there's the the uh, cup of tea, oh, and cool. then look inside. There's hand written on Hogwarts oh, so cute. tea brewing instructions from Sue's. You're the best, Sue's. Wow. Okay, I'm looking forward Freaking to it. Freaking amazing. Oh, amazing. My gosh. That's so sweet. There's literally a lot to unpack here. <laughs> okay, amazing. Well, that is awesome. <laughs> I love getting snail mail. Suze, thank you so much. This is amazing. That's so sweet. Thank you to Suze and Shelby and Minnie. Thank you, guys. Yes. Thank you, everybody. We love our mail sack. It brings us so much joy. It's nice that we're kind of ending the year on our mail sack because it's really about our listeners mm-hmm. and how much we love them and how much we love to hear from them and how we, much we love to be a message board for them. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, everybody. We love the emails. Keep them coming. Guys, it's time to announce our winner. Mm-hmm. We're giving for away. the Cat Burrell banner. That's the one. We had a huge, Ooh. huge uh, response. Yeah, we did. I saw those the alerts on, popping in on my phone. I mean, honestly, look at all those names. Freaking popping off. Yeah. That's yeah. a lot of names. Totally right popping there. off on Twitter and on the Insta. Um, and again, this, you know, Heidi Hansen has donated this banner. Uh, and it was in the in the post that only only contiguous uh, US residents or listen, if you are outside the US but you know, have a friend that you're going to be seeing in the next couple of years or whatever, give us that address. Like, it's all good. Make it work. But if you can't, if we can't get it to you, unfortunately, going to have to give it to somebody else. But yeah. let's hope that whoever wins, we can figure out something for you if you're not in an actual uh, U.S. resident. But here we go. I'm spinning the wheel, guys. All right. Let's spin it. We spin doing it. it? Round and round. I'm so excited. How do I? <laughs> is this, this is being oh, this is go. being posted, right? Yeah, look, it's spinning. Right. Ooh, it's spinning. spinning like wheel oh. of fortune. Oh. What does it say? Is it going? Yeah, it I can't. It, wait, wait, I can't you winner. read it because it was a little blurry. Uh, we have a winner. It's one of our Twitter uh, Twitter uh, listeners. It's Leslie Cheng. Leslie, congratulations, Woo! Leslie. Leslie, I'll be, I'll be reaching out to you. Uh, and uh, letting you know that you won. And we'll figure out how to get it to you. Heidi's going to arrange for shipping. So anyways, congratulations, Leslie. Cat Braille is coming to you. You have Cat Braille live and in person. And very and then, large. <laughs> larger than life. Light, life size. It's almost like hanging, ba- hanging on your wall, hanging on your ceiling, above your bed. <laughs> wherever, wherever you want, want her. Put it. Wherever you want. Whatever you want her, that's where she'll be. <laughs> um, so congrats to you. Write that down in case something happens to that app. Yeah, write it down. <laughs> well, I guess we have it recorded. I mean, that's true. Oh, are we recording? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> uh, and we have some. Why don't, you, why don't you tell us about our our homework assignment, okay. Tara? So I this will like... be the last show of the year. So we're going on on a little break, mm-hmm. um, taking a little holiday time off. Uh, so in the meantime, your homework assignment. is to sign the Warrior Nun petition to mm-hmm. save Warrior Nun. It's on Change.org. Uh, you just search Warrior Nun on there. It'll be the one with over 85,000 signatures, something like that now. And you got to watch Willow. Willow is super gay, super queer. <laughs> uh, super queer as of last night was very, very gay. Oh, man. It was so good. I, I yelled at the TV in a good way. <laughs> it was very, it was, oh, man, it got me. Uh, so watch it. Catch, catch up on it. We're going to talk about it when we come back. Yes, we um, are. Sign that petition. Make your uh, make your friends and family sign the Warrior Nun petition. Just get their emails. Just sign it for them. Let them know. You're, they'll be getting <laughs> confirmation email. Is that legal? Um, if your pets have an email, have them do it. Um, yeah. Just let people know. You'll be signing on their behalf. Um, let's get it done. Spread the word. Yeah. 
And when we come back, we got a big event. It's the right. Snoppies. Hello. Hello. We are looking into uh, recording at Chili's. I want uh, Tara. Can you go and scout it out? And it, it is in the in, the Encino Chili's is the closest and uh, that's closest my neighbor. That's uh, right down the street from where I work. So uh, go check it out okay? at the hospital. Oh yeah, I'm familiar. That's my that's my Encino. Uh, that's my Chili's. So. That's your home Chili's. We'll see yeah. if there's a place to set up a, a PA and some speakers so we can have our ceremony there. We can't be the first uh, folks <laughs> to want to replicate the office, uh, you know. I can't, I can't and, imagine. No, nah, no. Nah, come on. They, maybe they have like a whole room set up for award ceremonies. Oh, yeah. That'd be great. Okay, like a we'll secret go, back room. Yeah. Go find out. Can you do a little scouting? Yeah. I'll check it out. Um, and, you know, we're going to be compiling. We have a lot of uh, numbers to crunch to come up with the winners of this year's Snoppies. But if you have anybody in the next couple of weeks, if you want to nominate um, – a, inter, uh, a, a, a celebrity that we spoke to, uh, a rant that one of us had. If there's any moment that you would like to nominate for Snoppy, just shoot it out there on our socials. We'll be we'll be tallying those up in the next couple of weeks. Um, but guys, this is the time of year that we say thanks. Thank you t- for listening. Thank you for everything that you do to show us that that you are you actually do listen and that you enjoy what we do every week because it really does make us feel so so good and yeah just thank you so much guys and you know next year we're going into our fourth year of podcasting it's insane wow Wow. can't be true (laughs) Uh, yeah i've been here four years i'm calling you a liar i kind of track it by how long i've been here it's It's absolutely true yeah listen to wendy lord four years and um uh, what was I going to say? Don't know. It's gone. That's what happens when you get old. <laughs> it's completely gone. Yeah, wow. It's been a well, ride. <laughs> it's been really fun. It's been great. We've had, a, I mean, think about some of the stuff we've done and people we've talked to like, Pretty wow. cool. Pretty great. Yeah. yeah. It's been a ride, man. It's been a ride. And, uh, you know, we're not going anywhere, but. Keep it coming. No. Oh, I was going to say, we're going to be, this coming year, we'll be recording our 200th episode. Oh, my God. That is mind-blowing to me. Yeah. 200 Uh. episodes. Wow. I can't even think of, like, a a lot of other... each other. Yeah, a lot of other people just in my life that I've talked to (laughs) on 200 different occasions. I know. That I still, like... (laughs) Oh. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know how to do that. I've just that. had 200 conversations with <laughs> that I enjoy. Uh, yeah, company that's, still, that's so. fair. Hmm. Um, <laughs> I guess you'll know when we stop making this podcast. <laughs> We've just had enough of each other. Uh, like, well, that, that, that day has come. That's going to be a sad day. You know what? Let's just enjoy yes. heyday. The of course. heyday and know that bigger, better things are to come. That's right. This is the golden age of snop, everybody. Golden age of snop. Enjoy mm-hmm. it while we're in it. And uh, By the way, yeah. we're on the Twitter. Did you know now, apparently, you can see when people click on your post but decide not to interact at all? Ooh. There's like a whole new thing, a little like graph thing where if someone just clicks on our post and thinks, oh, that's nice, but they don't like it or retweet it. <laughs> You can see how many people like I'm looking at one right now. Is that only is that just something we can see? Because we're admin. no, I see it on everybody's like oh, there's this tweet what? I'm looking at now. It looks like 60 over 60,000 people have clicked on it. What? 2700 have liked it. And then 96 retweeted 35 commented. But 60,000 people post? have actually looked on it. Yeah, you can see it on everybody's. That sounds wow. like just overall of our account. Like That's a lot of interactions. 60, yeah. 000. I mean, I'm not. It's one one of our posts. It it's was, just a random you know. post. That's oh, why okay. you can see it on ours. everyone's. Like, which post Yeah, you can is see that? it on anybody's. Like, I'm looking at ours. Oh, it's, right a little gra- it's a little graph Yeah, that thing? little graph. Oh, okay. Now what? So, I know what I'm doing later tonight. <laughs> you got to look at everybody's. <laughs> yeah. What? Wait. Almost well, thirty thousand people. Elon thought have clicked was... on our She Nerds Out podcast uh, interview with Cheska. I believe it. It says thir- twenty nine point nine thousand people I have it. at least clicked mm-hmm. on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What? I mean, yeah, we have a lot of a lot of views on our YouTube interview of Christina. Mother mm-hmm. Christmas. It's about that same what number. Actually. So. <clears throat> yeah. 
wow, well, Wendy okay. is going to be doing that for a while. <laughs> I'm going to be, I'm going to be looking at this. This is amazing. Yeah, they just like popped up today, right? Is this yeah. something Elon thought it's was a good idea I now? Guess. 126,000 impressions from the original Christine. Wow, it's crazy. Anyway, <laughs> all right, but we're on there. At Snot Podcast with 1D. Go give us some interactions or whatever that thing was. Called. Yeah, we're on Interact. Instagram and Facebook at She Nerds Up Podcast. Here's the thing. <laughs> if you want to send us an email, you can do that by emailing us at shenerdsup at gmail.com or you can send us a message through our website, shenerdsout.com. You can also send us a voicemail. We haven't had a voicemail in a minute. That'd be nice. to Maybe oh, somebody can send us a voicemail. While you're on that website, you might as well look at our merch. You could buy us a beer, catch up on old episodes. Uh, but yeah, check it out. It's One Stop Snopping. Right. All right. Well, I guess for the last time in 2022. Whoa. Signing off. See you next year. Snop tarts, snoplings, snoppies, everybody. Yeah. And until 2023. She nerds out. Out. She nerds out. We're girls that like girls that like dirty things. Yay. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Happy snappa days. <laughs> oh. Huh? I see what you did there. Thank you very much. <laughs>